my buddy Frank and I are back out at this magnificent house here. We're going to do a little hunt today. Frank's got a few minutes before he has to head back home. So we're going to try and hunt this place for a few minutes, see if any silver comes out of here today. We'll get back with you if anything good comes up. I brought my friend Frank out today. He's down the trail there hunting along. And we're hunting back in the house site with the pit of death. But I got my first signal here. It looks like a nickel. I'm kind of concentrating on gold signals today. Um, I don't know how old this nickel is. Let's have a look. Uh-oh, somebody's going to give me a hard time about rubbing my coins. But that's all right. Looks like a buffalo nickel to me. So that is a good start and a good period find for this house. It is. It's a buffalo nickel. I'll take it. That's a great start. It's right along this trail. Shouldn't have been missed. JD and I came through here. So great start to the day. Well, just a few inches, well, about a foot from where that buffalo was. We've got a, a high squeaky signal here. Which is pretty consistent with a coin, maybe a dime or something. Ah, there it is right there. It's just a penny. Let's see what we've got. It's a wheat penny. All right, I'm back along this trail still. Uh, we just dug the buffalo nickel here, a wheat penny here. Frank's over there. And right here somewhere, there it is, I'm getting an 8990 signal. So I have a pretty good feeling this has got to be silver. And Frank went over it with the T2. It's reading a 90 on the T2 as well. So I'm thinking we're going to have a silver coin. This looks like it might have been a coin spill right through here. Maybe somebody wrecked their bike or something like that. It's right here somewhere. There it is. It's definitely silver. It's not old silver, but it's silver nonetheless. It's a 1960 quarter. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll it. Silver is silver is silver. So it's in pretty good shape. And that's a good signal. It's a good sign that uh, there's liable to be some more targets in here. We didn't get them all. Hopefully Frank will get him some silver in here today. I'm just off to the side of the house now and got a great 80 signal in this yard and look there silver another mercury dime out of here 1943 that makes me happy happy that's my second silver for the day pretty good stuff telling you this yard has so many signals it would just take a lifetime to go through them all here but there's got to be more silver and gold in here all right guys i'm just out from the front of the house here and just got a signal here which is some kind of flower button which i kind of wasn't expecting but uh, you can begin to see the design there on the front of it it's uh it's pretty ate up but it is what it is and I'll take it neat little floral type design button Founder ring not exactly the type of gold ring I was looking for but it's a start this is kind of cool the other day when I was in here I found a flower style suspender buckle and here's the match to the one I found the other day. It's pretty much an exact match. In fact, it is an exact match to the one I found the other day. So that's really neat. Now I've got the matching pair of little floral suspender buckles. So, really cool. Well, I just got another high squeaky signal. Kind of just down from the house here in the yard. And I'm thinking we're going to have a silver coin, another one. Right here, we can see it. It's 
see what we've got this time. That looks like it's going to be another Mercury. I guess I better not rub it. Somebody's going to cuss me on here, but here, I'll turn the camera. There's the Mercury unrubbed. That's a nice silver. It's going to be a 1942. Well, here's kind of a neat find trying to block the wind but it's a key and it looks like it has the number 244 on it well here's a neat signal that just came out I'm not exactly sure what it is but it says six year calendar and it looks like it says 1947 right there so I'm gonna have to clean that one up a little more but uh, it looks like it's gonna be a neat little period time uh, time period piece it's got some writing on the front I don't know about the back but uh, yeah that's gonna be a neat little thing I think it says 1941 to 1947 so I'm gonna clean that up a little bit more later for now I'm gonna keep hunting I'm running out of time I gotta get back home to Cassie Lee today so back at it another coin spill this one appears to be modern though. You see here's one nickel, two nickels, a couple quarters, penny. I don't know if there's any more. I'll stick my pin pointer in here and uh, make sure. But a little modern coin spill. That'll buy me a drink on the way home. Rain guide that just came out. Um, to guide the reins for a wagon and I've never seen one like this it's intentionally split I guess so you can get the leather straps in and out of there easy but that's a pretty neat find I'll take it from an old wagon coming up in here so we're gonna get back at it try and get out of here How about that there's another one of those buttons I found the first day I was in here so that's kinda cool this one's in a little bit better shape it looks like and the shank is broke though. It's still on there, but it, oh no, I guess it's not broke. It's just uh, kinda, kinda flat. But yeah, it's another one of those eagle crown and anchor buttons. So, that's pretty neat. Maybe there's a couple more laying in here. All right guys, I just wanna do a real quick wrap up. I got everything laid out here on the stairs. Um, those of you who follow my videos know this isn't my normal type of hunting, but when you have an opportunity to hunt a house like this, you should take it. Um, I found a lot of silver in here over the last couple days, and that's something I don't usually do. Um, I'm usually out digging up relics, so it's been a real fun time here at this house. I hope you guys have enjoyed trying something a little different with me. I may get back out and do some more coin shooting like this in the future, but you know me, I'm, I'm likely to be out hunting relics. So let's take a quick look at what we found today. Of course, I got all my junk over here. Um, electrical cords, the weird blade thing. Um, some valves, tire valves. Got a lot of clad today. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's $1.50 and quarters at least. So got that much got my batman ring that's my gold ring for the day um several of these little decorative things got a another one of the eagle and crown anchor buttons so that was nice two mercs 1960 silver quarter um five wheat pennies the buffalo nickel got the nice floral suspender buckle the calendar which i thought was neat for a year calendar key and uh, pocket knife rain guide so all in all it was a good day got three pieces of silver out another button oh and I got this little bitty floral button too so that was a nice surprise anyway it was a great day out here at the castle I hope you guys enjoyed it I know I did um, if you enjoyed the video subscribe and make sure and get over to aquachigger.com check out what we got going on over there we got metal detectors and all kinds of stuff so it's a fun hunt We'll see you next time.